Yeah, Logan Paul destroyed his knee. He said halfway through the match, but I mean, it was the uh, the, the table spot. You know, we did the splash to the table. That's from what I understand. Well, man, you wouldn't know it watching the match because he made it through the entire thing like it was nothing. And, he was great. Uh, he looked he, was... he looked fantastic. And you know who else was fantastic was Roman Reigns. Oh, always in the right place at the right My time. God, Roman perfect was ma- perfect, so great in this match. Perfect match. Perfect. He worked a perfect match with the guy. Yeah. Yeah. They they did. They were they were tremendous. And um, yeah, I don't. Um, he said, I guess the last Instagram thing that he he tore his uh, MCL and um, meniscus. Right. I think that's what he said. But I mean, he's going to have it looked at, and it could end up being a lot more. I guess we'll yeah. see. I, I know I got one message where they thought he didn't tear his ACL, but again, he hasn't had it looked at. You know, he I think he first at first thought he did, but um I mean we'll probably know more like in a day or two. But uh so it may not be as bad, but you know, I mean it it could be. You know, I mean um the torn ACL would keep him out for, you know, over six months. The other one would he'd still be out for a while. I mean, whatever. So but uh man, what a that was uh have you ever seen anyone in the third match be that good i can't imagine i mean it maybe it happened somewhere but i mean I his can't... third match was also a main event of a pay-per-view i mean even yeah. like kurt angle's third match he wasn't doing a match like this oh no no, no. Kurt, kurt, kurt angle was i mean i i i kurt angle was really really good but not 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 like this no not like this and he's better Hart, than oh, bad bunny and uh no, who also bad had a couple bunny, of that's, great matches bad, bad bunny it's not even a comparison well it's I mean, not but he had some good matches bad bunny looked good doing spots and everything but bad bunny could not have done, not pulled this off like like at this level i mean it's that's he's worlds above bad bunny or you know or any of the celebrities i'm talking about i mean he's in there with your I mean, he he could be legitimately. If, I mean, it's he'll never be that because he's got better things to do with his life. But I mean, legitimately, if he went in there and wanted to be a pro wrestler, he could be a world champion if if he you know trained at it for years and everything. Because he's got the look, he can talk. Um, he's you know he, you know I mean, there's better athletes in the world, but man, he just he, his athletic ability clicks with pro wrestling, and he obviously loves pro wrestling, and he watches it like crazy, and. Um, you know he's not nervous in the ring and in high pressure situations i mean i you can't say enough for the guy he was put in a situation where a lot of people would have failed and he succeeded beyond you know he just really succeeded and if it was roman reigns logan paul we talked a lot about this at the beginning of the show logan paul's one of those guys that tell him to do a move and he'll do it and man he did these giant leapfrogs and springboards and uh, all sorts of big stuff. Yes, a super a super kick attempt later because they're talking about him being trained by Shawn Michaels. Did the Superman punch yeah, on yeah, Roman yeah, sweet, Reigns? The, the, the T switch switch in music that Roman Reigns blocked, right? Yeah, yeah. So finally, uh, uh, Logan Paul's entourage is out there, and they give him his phone, and he goes up to the post and he does a giant splash through a table under Roman Reigns. With his phone, you can see it on his Instagram. Yeah, flying, then, flying um, way that 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 uh, Shane McMahon bump. Yeah, um, but he just splash, not an elbow. So and, the bloodline comes out and they start beating up these this entourage, and yeah. they're they're beating them up. And so out comes Jake Paul, and Jake Paul comes down to the ring, and then Solo Soko comes down, and there's well, a big, Jake, Jake, Jake knocked out Jimmy and knocked out knocked Jay. out the Usos, and then Solo comes. Then down. Solo comes down, and then they have the all security pulling them apart because they don't want Solo to sell this early. And Jake wasn't going to sell. You know, that's just how it's going to be because he just beat Anderson Silva. So he, he ain't selling for any pro wrestlers. So they kind of had their stalemate. And what it was, this all happened while those other two guys are selling, going through the table. So it gave them a chance to, you know, recover. And then once security kind of got those guys apart, then... Um, you know, Logan, Logan did this and, big dive over the top on all of the Usos. Yep, and so he lays them out, and then uh, uh, Reigns ends up hitting the Superman punch and the spear as Logan's getting back into the ring. And man, Logan Paul, the job that this guy did he, selling also, for him and his they, facial they, expressions, and he couldn't believe how good this guy was and the fear. And then when it was over, he practically breaks into tears looking at his championship belts, realizing, I almost lost these titles to this Logan Paul fella. 
Yeah. Roman was great, and Logan Paul was great, and this was a great main event. Yeah, well, also, they hit the, you know, Logan Paul hit the punch, you know, the lucky punch, as you knew he had to, and Roman, you know, did a great job selling it, but, in fact, he did survive it. Dude, he did a great job selling it, I mean, until the show was over. Like, when he yeah. was going up the ramp afterwards, he was still, like, trying to get his jaw back in place or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this was an excellent, excellent main event. Yeah, I'll it's tell you, I mean, like, like, I mean, you can't do what Logan Paul does if you're wrestling full time, because you can't do it every night. Your body won't take it. And look, his body didn't even take it in this match, you know, when it, when it comes down to it. But um, still, when I was watching this match, it was like I kept thinking, like, this is ridiculous praise. But I was. I was thinking the first time I saw Will Ospreay live, which was in uh, PWG. But and, and Will Ospreay at that point was better than Logan Paul is right now. But he wasn't that. I mean, but it was very similar. But also, Will Ospreay had been wrestling three years, not three matches. And I remember, because I remember I went up to him afterwards, and I just go, because I knew he was like, what, 22 years old or whatever he was. You know, um, I think he was 22 at the time. And I go, how long have you been wrestling? It's three years ago. Three, you were wrestling three years? And, you know, he was having those incredible matches with Marty Skrull at this point, you know, all over, you know, England and everything, you know, where they do those 30-minute matches that were just out of this world. Um but, you know, like, Logan was like that. You know, I mean, he was like, and and, and it was like, you know, again, third match, first year. Um, what a, what an, I mean, like, of all the naturals, I mean, there was the one football player, uh, uh, D'Angelo Williams, I believe, in, in TNA years and years ago, who I thought was a complete natural at this, who did one match in, to, because he wanted to do it, never did it again. And to him, the one thing I have to say for, for him, he may have been even better um, as far as potential, but he never followed up. But the thing with, with D'Angelo was that D'Angelo did one day of training before that match. It's not like this guy who's done months and months of training with, with Shawn Michaels. He did one day with Scott D'Amour, went out there, and but he only also did like, you know, maybe five minutes of stuff in the match. But that's the other guy I would say, you know, who was just like walked in there and was, you know, just a natural at this. Um, so... Uh, yeah, what a what an incredible performance. Um, you know, I mean, people were talking about, you know, rookie of the year, but there's a lot of, you know, I mean, Braun Breakers this year and and uh, Takuma Fujiwara is this year. This is not an easy year. I mean, like McAfee won rookie of the year last year, and um, this guy's better than McAfee, and McAfee trained for years and years and years. You know, um, I mean, I think McAfee's a better all around performer because of the them. Yeah, yeah, better talker and everything, but older, you know, and, uh, but, you know, the thing with both of those guys is that, uh, you know, they got other things going on and they're never going to be doing this full time. But, uh, Logan Paul, if he were to, you know, if he actually w went into pro wrestling as a, you know, something where he would do like 15, 20 matches a year, man, he's so good. I think the people, the people even cheered him. He was so good. Although, and they did boo him at the press conference. So, um, of course, that's a different crowd at the press conference and, and at the show. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see when he comes back because people really want to hate him. They don't want to, you know, I mean, they, they, they booed him in every city no matter how much of a baby face he was. But, man, it is hard not to respect, as a pro wrestler, this guy for how good he is. As much as, you know, people don't like him and Jake Paul at all, you know, and that's part of the shtick. But man, you know, and of course, WWE markets him as babyface. But there you go. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.